Should you buy a new home in Las Vegas or buy a resale? That's what you're about to find out. Hey guys, before we jump into the video, my name is Jerry Abbott. I'm a realtor here with Simply Vegas Real Estate in the beautiful city of Las Vegas, Nevada. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about the Las Vegas real estate market, just click that subscribe button down below and click the little bell notification next to it. Honestly, I get calls from people wanting to relocate here every single week. So if you're interested in possibly buying a home here, I am your guy. I've lived here for 17 years. I know every inch of this city. Just call, text, or email me anytime. Okay, so let's just jump right into it, guys. I'm gonna give you the three pros and the three cons to determine whether or not you should be buying a brand new construction home in Las Vegas, or whether or not you might wanna go down the resale road. So let's start out with the first pro. Okay, so number one on the list as a pro is location. I'm sure you've heard the old real estate expression, location, location, location. That's true no matter where you live. It's very important to know that when you're buying a new home, a new construction home, especially in a place like Las Vegas, you wanna make sure you pick a location that you like. The good thing about Las Vegas is that the outskirts of town, which is really still about maybe 20, 30 minutes away from the center main attraction area of the center of Las Vegas, all of these outskirt locations are beautiful. The home builders know that, that's why they bought the land there, that's why they're building beautiful homes there. So you really can't go wrong with the location areas of new construction in Las Vegas because you're really gonna have parks, you're gonna have recreation, you're gonna have your own shopping areas up there. And if you wanna do kind of like a staycation, you can always go down to the main strip area, which is usually about maybe 20 minutes away from any corner of the part of Las Vegas. So location is really important and you're not gonna really find a new development with a new home that you wanna buy in a bad location in Las Vegas. So number one on the list of cons is everything in Las Vegas feels like it is new construction nowadays. You have builders building everywhere on the east side, the west side, the north side, the south side, and they're beautiful homes. It doesn't matter what price range, you could be in a $300,000 home or a custom $3 million home. There's a lot of new construction going on. So you have to kind of determine whether or not, hey, do I wanna be in a brand new kind of cookie cutter house or do I wanna have maybe some more greenery in some of the older neighborhoods and have a little bit more space between me and my neighbor? Those are things that you really have to determine. A lot of people want new construction because it's brand new. So everybody loves something brand new, but it feels a little bit more cookie cutter-ish in some of those neighborhoods compared to some of the older communities. So it really just depends as to whether or not you want that brand new construction, along with a lot of other new construction in these areas where the neighborhoods are first being developed and built up compared to some of the older neighborhoods that have a little bit more seasoning to them. Okay, so number two on the list as to whether or not you wanna potentially buy a brand new construction home in Las Vegas is that you have a tremendous amount of options in this city. There is every imaginable home builder in Las Vegas. You have Toll Brothers, you have Pulte, you have Richmond American, you have KB, you have Lennar. Every home builder is here developing their own areas. Then you have the custom home builders if your budget is high enough where you can contract out with people like Christopher Holmes or you can contract out with Blue Heron. It doesn't really matter what your pocketbook can afford. Every home builder is here, and the best part is they're all up to date on all of the best stuff in terms of the craftsmanship, energy efficiency, all of the custom options that you can possibly imagine. You have every single type of option here, regardless of your budget. That's a great thing because when you're buying these types of homes nowadays, they're still affordable in Las Vegas, and you get almost like a custom type feel, even at the average price point here, which is right now about $325,000. From that point up, it doesn't matter if you're at 500,000 or a million plus, you are gonna get every option that you could desire in this city because the home builders know what they're doing and they're offering it out on any type of home that you wanna build as a new construction place here. Okay, so number two on the list as to whether or not you wanna buy a new home here in Las Vegas is you're going to have to deal with construction. Construction is ongoing, unfortunately, in a lot of these new developments, and it happens to go on sometimes for several months because they're building a whole new development of homes. So a lot of times you're gonna be driving through and there's gonna be a lot of noise in the neighborhoods that are being built. Doesn't matter what day of the week, it could be Saturday morning, it could be Monday afternoon, it doesn't really matter. Construction is going to be ongoing. And unfortunately too, it doesn't really look all that pretty. You're gonna see piles of debris. You're gonna see all different types of construction equipment around. And that's just the nature of the beast until the development has been finally built. 
So if you're buying a new construction home here, you're gonna to have to put up with that. Some people, they don't mind it because they don't care. They wanna get into a new home and they wanna be in a new development. That's fine, they are okay with it. Other people, it might be a little bit tougher to put up with, but it doesn't really matter because ultimately the neighborhood will look great. It's just a matter of whether or not you can kind of live through that process or not. But construction will be unfortunately ongoing when they are building out an entire new development. And that happens a lot in a lot of areas in Las Vegas. Okay, so pro number three about buying a new construction home in Las Vegas is affordability. The affordability in Las Vegas is second to none in all of this country. You can find beautiful new construction homes here for very reasonable prices with great square footage, great amenities, great neighborhoods, and unfortunately, if you're living in a major metropolitan city right now, like if you're in Boston, New York, Los Angeles, Seattle, those places I'm sure are beautiful as well, but the price points are much higher. Las Vegas has one of the most affordable price point ranges here, even on new construction. So if you're gonna buy a new construction home here, you still have time to do it and have the affordability to do it. Some people's budgets obviously are different than others. If you wanna buy on the lower end, which is let's say maybe $350,000, all the way up to a million plus, it doesn't really matter. You're going to get a lot more bang for your buck on new construction in this city than just about anywhere else in the country. So affordability is something that you really should try to capitalize on here because it's not really too far out of control yet, but prices are rising here. They're definitely going up and they're looking to possibly raise maybe another 10 or 15% in the next year in 2021. So affordability is good as long as you can capitalize on it and get something now before prices get a little bit out of hand. Okay, so number three on the list about potentially buying a new construction home in Las Vegas is builder competition. Builders will build you anything you want. You can get any feature, any customization that you want, but building a new home here, you're gonna pay more of a premium. I would say at least 10% more of a premium than an existing home. And the way to just kind of compare that is very simple. If you were buying a business and it was already an existing business with employees, a building, that would just cost you X amount of dollars. But if you had to start brand new with a business and build out a whole new building and build all the infrastructure, it's gonna take more time and more money. And that's the same thing with home building. When you build something new and you wanna customize it to however you want, you're just gonna ultimately pay a little bit more of a premium. The other thing too about when you're buying a new construction home here in Las Vegas, they're typically gonna come with a homeowner's association fee because all of the new developments here usually have an HOA. And some people frown upon that because the HOAs kind of restrict you in certain ways when you're building into a new construction area because they basically run the show. So you have to pay into a homeowner's association fee. Some people don't mind it because they like that because it gives them that kind of continuity in the neighborhood that they're gonna live in. Other people don't like it because they don't wanna feel like they're being restricted by a homeowner's association kind of telling them what they can and can't do. So that really gets to determine whether or not you wanna have a new home in a new community here, or you wanna go after the resale market. Either way, you have any option that you want in Las Vegas. There is new construction going on here all the time, and there's beautiful homes and beautiful developments. It's really just a personal choice for you. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the pros and cons as to whether or not you wanna buy a new construction home here in Las Vegas. I am a realtor here with Simply Vegas Real Estate. I help people relocate here and buy homes all the time. I know every inch of this city. I am your guy if you're looking to buy a home in Las Vegas. Just contact me at the information you see on the screen and I'll see you in the next video.